Got this clip from Russell. We're going down this wet, slippery road, going through his green light. He's got the right away. And that transit connector's got the right to connect with the front of Russell's car there. Bang. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Road Morons, where we make fun of the idiots and morons on the road. And what we're looking at here is a car that's gone into the front of a shop. Let's have a little zoom in. What's it got on the door? <laughs> Uber. Uber idiot. Would you believe it? Perfectly standard behaviour for them crashing into cars or crashing into buildings. Why not? And as we can see from the Nottinghamshire Live, Nottingham shop owner says she thought she would faint after the Uber crashed into the building. Well, the way them lot drive, they've already fainted and they're unconscious. No brain activity whatsoever. <laughs> Staying on the theme of the Uber idiot, here's one just pulled out in a white Prius. Their standard weapon of choice for them. And he's just gone ploughing down there to where there ain't really much of a gap. He should have just sat back and waited for the bus to come through. There's number 20 on the road. That's the driver's IQ, 20. And that's on a good day when he's had like a few coffees and the Pro Plus and the, the Red Bull and all that. And now, as you can see, look, absolutely no no spatial awareness. No tell a lie. He's got the spatial awareness of a paperclip. That's what he's got. <laughs> and staying on the theme of the Uber idiot. Here we are, we're all going through our green light. And here's the Uber idiot doing what they do, go through his red light. Absolutely standard behaviour for these lot. As we can see in the back window, he's got the green round with doom and damage. And the model of the car, yeah, it's a Kia Ionic. What it should say is Kia Moronic Ionic. Or Iconic Moronic, in fact. Brains of a garden slug on medication. <laughs> you got this clip from Ludmill. We're going up the top of Kensington Church Street, about to turn right onto Notting Hill Gate. You can see the two arrows in the road. They're just showing you it's a one-way street at the top. He's about to turn right. And this food delivery rider has just turned left into the one-way street. But in his little mind, he's only going one way, and that's the same way as his brain works. One way, backwards. Okay, so here I am. Just come across London Bridge, sitting on King William Street here. Up, I've got Monument Station put to me right, heading north. Anyway, our lights have gone green. But that means nothing to the big red bus. His red light was big and red like his bus, and he just drove straight through it. What's he got on the side? Get real-time bus arrivals on TFL Go. What, <laughs> what they should have is get real bus drivers that know where to stop and when to go. <laughs> so here I am again, bottom of Park Lane, about to go round Eye Park Corner, but I have to stop for the red light. But of course, the Uber idiot in the veto doesn't stop at the red light. Standard behaviour. Now, draw your attention to this. Now, you all know about the green round or a doom, disaster and damage. Well, what this is, this actually shows that Driver is only nominated for his Darwin Award at this moment. Yeah? He's got to, he's got to achieve some levels of greatness of bad driving to actually receive the Darwin Award from Transport of London. And driving through that red light, he will soon get it. Don't worry about that. So, you've got this next clip from Musa, and he's driving around this busy area. And what happened there? We need a steward's inquiry. We need a slow-mo. Let's have a look. Here we go. Keep your eye to the left. There's people out on the pavement having a drink and all that. And that's what happened. One of them had too much to drink and he's falling in the road. Guy in the blue jumper's trying to catch him, but he's not fast enough. Look. But unlike Musa, who's very fast with his reactions there. Well done, Musa. Look. If he wasn't on the ball, if he was a brainless gimp in a Toyota Prius, yeah, coming around that corner, looking at his phone, waiting for the next job or something, it, it, I wouldn't even like to think what happened. No, good job. Well well done there, Musa. Anyway, you got this clip from Mr V and it shows Loverboy coming down at the beach in his new Jeep, impressing his girlfriend. He's going to propose to her and he thinks this is a cool way to do it. And I would say that cool idea has just gone out the window. It's the same as he's just gone out the window. Are you come out? <laughs> What's happening there? He's... <laughs> Well, he's kind of, well, his mates are just going to tell him what an idiot he looked. Anyway, we need a steward's inquiry. I've got to see that here he comes. He's got love in his eyes. It's looking good till this point. But then he's lost control. He should have backed off the gas. But no, he's put the pedal to the metal and the roof to the sand. And he's spinning around like a top. And then... <laughs> he looks where the wind's caught that gown. He looks like he was wearing a wingsuit for flying. But then he needs to swap it for a wetsuit where he's... <laughs> How ah, stupid does he feel? Here he goes. Look, he's coming out there. Look, here he goes. Now, now he's going to try. He's got to try and find his girlfriend now. And he's got to try and get some sympathy. He? Oh, oh, I know what he's going to do. He's got. He's going to fake an injury. Watch this. Oh, oh my leg. Oh, she's got to have sympathy. She ain't got sympathy for you, you schmuck. She's gone. 
Got a lot of robber's dog. Got this clip sent in by Marcel. And as you can see, it's a nice sunny day. So Marcel's gone down the car wash. Got his car all washed, polished. He's on his way home. He's got that good clean car feeling. But that clean car feeling's finished. Because some idiot coming the other opposite way had to drive through the puddle at 50 mile an hour. Oh, Right, that's it for the cars. Let's have a look at some bikes. And what we're looking at here, got this clip from John M. And we're looking at bike thieves again. Look, remember these, what we said about? Normally all in black. On the black electric bike, the, the Sauron is their famous weapon of choice, what they like. And as you can see, he's seen something. Now, remember what they, I said they always circle about. He's seen something. He's hopped up in the pavement there. Here he goes. Look, and I'll tell you exactly what he's seen. He's seen that guy there, all dressed in black, and he's got the white trainers on. Watch him. He's actually walking along, and he's having a conversation on the phone. He's mid-conversation. There he is, that poor guy. He's totally oblivious to the bad days he's about to have. Here he goes. Look, he's circling. Look, absolute scum, these people. Here he goes. Arm goes out, boom, and it's gone. And he is off. There's no, he tries running, but there's no way you're going to catch him there. And that guy nearly takes out that guy. He could have got injured. He, he, they're just scum. Absolute feral scum. Guys, just, just be careful. Keep your phone away. You don't need to, to... I know you shouldn't have to worry about it, but that's the way things are these days. Be careful. Got this clip sent in by Karen. It looks like she's filtering, following this guy in. Now, she's stopping at the zebra, but these self-entitled morons ain't stopping for no one. Ridiculous. They got the mental ability and the intelligence of a goldfish after he's been swimming around in a barrel of beer after day. Got this clip sent in from Seth, and he's on the M4 motorway, 70 mile an hour, cars, trucks. Now, keep your eye to the left. There's something on the hard show. <laughs> it's a Deliveroo or Dumbaroo rider <laughs> I don't know where he's delivering to, but the neurons in his brain ain't delivering the messages to where they're meant to be going, that's for sure. Another one up for a Darwin Award very soon. Anyway, speaking of Darwin Awards, here's a couple more brainless idiots sent in by Sebastian. There goes number one between the truck and the coach, and the other one hesitates, but he says, nah, sod it, I'm off. Just like the fly following the plate of food into the microwave oven. She's got this clip from Ali G going up Bishopsgate, and the entitled brainless moron has just gone up the inside of Ali. And now he's trying to go up the inside of the truck where there is no gap. The lemonade that this biker drink, well, the bubbles in that have got more brains than what he has. Another little clip from Ludmilla. We're sitting at this red light with a cyclist. But that motorcyclist weren't sitting at road, no red light. He kept on rolling. Just like the tumbleweed, what rolls around the vast expanse of his empty skull keeps rolling around in that space of nothingness there. He's got this clip by Michael here. And he's going through his green light. That means nothing to that green line bike there. And there's a Santander cycle. Both gone through the red light, both in front of Michael. The pair of them put together have got the mental prowess, the mental prowess of a jellyfish. <laughs> this clip from Barry here. Now, fully entitled cyclist there, straight through the red light while the pedestrians are going across. Here he goes, look. He's going through the red light, pedestrians are crossing. The woman has the audacity to say anything to him. And he just says, listen, lady, you don't know my sense of entitlement. And then he even looks back to say, look, I know I'm brainless, but give me a break. You're not as entitled as me. He's got the intellectual capacity of a staple gun. Right, that's all for this one, everybody. Thanks so much for watching till the end. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, comment in the comments down below. Any clips you've got, please send them to roadmoronsvids at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.